Okay, ladies and gentlemen, example C. We're given the equation x squared plus y squared minus 10x plus 6y equals a negative 30. And we're asked to find the center of the circle and the radius and then graph it. All right, this is just kind of a mess. Let me show you how I would organize the problem. Put the x squared and the minus 10x together, okay? In other words, group those. Come over here and group the y's y squared plus 6y, and of course the negative 30 is right where I need it. It's out of my way. It's on the other side of the equation. Now we're going to do something here. It's a little process called completing the square. We're going to take this expression and turn it into a perfect square. <clears throat> Here's the first thing you check. Before this process works, the number in front has to be a 1, and it is. Okay, so we're lucky there. If it wasn't a 1, let's say it was a 3, we would divide everything by 3. But it's already a 1. <clears throat> what I want you to do next is I want you to take half of the number negative 10 in your mind and then square it. Half of negative 10 is negative 5. Negative 5 squared is 25. What I add to one side of the equation, <clears throat> I add to the other. Now this process is called completing the square because it wants me to turn this expression into a perfect square. And you'll see why in a minute. How did I get the 25? Let me take you through it again. Half of negative 10 is negative 5. Square it and you get 25. What you add to one side, you add to the other side. <clears throat> okay, let's look here. We want to complete the square here also. Make sure the leading coefficient is a 1, which it is. Half of 6 is 3. 3 squared is 9. What I add to one side, I add to the other. One more time. <clears throat> Half of 6 is 3. 3 squared is 9. That's called completing the square. Now, <clears throat> when I factor this expression... It, is, it turns out this is a perfect square trinomial. This becomes x minus 5 times x minus 5, which is really x minus 5 squared. We have a plus in the middle. This is also a perfect square trinomial. It becomes y plus 3 times y plus 3, which is really y plus 3 squared. And over here, what do we have? Um, let's see, this is going to become a 4. <clears throat> so I have taken a very ugly equation, and by completing the square twice and factoring, I have turned this into an equation of a circle that's easy to see. <clears throat> okay, remember how to find the radius. You take this number, and you square root it, so the length of the radius is 2. Remember how to find the center. <clears throat> to find the center, you start with the x term first. What would make this 0? A 5. What would make this y term 0 if I plugged in? A negative 3. So the center of my circle is 5 comma negative 3. I have a radius of 2. When I draw my graph, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Negative 3 is right here. That's my center. I count 2 in all directions. Up 2, down 2, to the left 2, to the right 2. And I guess my circle's a little weird that way, but there we go. This is my circle. Remember how to graph a circle. Start with the center and then count out all four compass directions using the radius. Okay, this process again that I did here to come up with the 25 and the 9, which of course have to be added to both sides since this is an equation, is called completing the square.